Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can watch Hulu without ads. So let's get right into it. As you can see, <coughs> I am using an allaboutcookies.org article on this matter. Since I do not have access to Hulu, nor do I plan on using it, but uh, this article is very well made and there is no reason for uh, me to actually go into the app. This will be just enough. Now, uh, there are a few methods and I'll be going over all of them. I will make some recommendations of my own, but without further ado, let's start. Uh, firstly, uh, the main thing that you have to actually watch Hulu without ads is there no ads subscription. However, that is a bit expensive uh, at $18 a month compared to the basic $8 a month, a month for the standard subscription. So if you want it, if you have the money, you can just get that and you're uh, pretty much good to go. However, if you don't want to spare an extra $10, just go to one of these options. Firstly, you can use an uh, a Chrome extension which blocks ads such as total ad block, you block origin and ad lock. Uh, these will block ads on most services such as Hulu, YouTube, Netflix, and so on and so forth. Uh, there are also uh, extensions such as Hulu Ad Skipper that just skip and fast forward through the commercials. But alas, uh, these are the most popular, so make sure to use them. Uh, there are also browsers that have built in functionalities to block ads, uh, such as Brave, Opera, Microsoft Edge, and Mozilla Firefox. Microsoft Edge for me is surprising, but it turns out it actually has an ad blocking property. Uh, I myself use Opera GX. Opera itself or the basic Opera also has this functionality, but make sure you check it out. Mozilla Firefox is also a personal recommendation of mine. So well, either of these two that you choose uh, will be of use. Uh, Brave is also quite good from what I've heard, but I cannot testify to that. Uh, other than that, you can use an ad blocker app such as the NordVPN Threat Protection, Total Ad Block, and Surfshark Clean Web. These are all ad blocking apps, so you can use them. However, I'd just recommend you either use an extension or a uh, browser that blocks ads itself. You can also reload your show when an ad actually starts playing. Once you reload your browser, it'll just uh, speed fire uh, a couple of ads after you reload and then afterwards until the end of the episode or until the end of the movie, you should be without ads. You can also just juggle between two browser tabs to actually uh, switch between uh, the same episode or the same show. Uh, while one is showing an ad, you can switch to another. However, I would just recommend you get uh, either an extension or a browser. Uh, this is a bit too much of a hassle for me personally, but you do what you want to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.